I'm like frustrated about my foot, I could use that to kind of just get into a place where I'm just like in a big funk and just like, what was me? But I'm really trying to do my best to see my emotions and be like, okay, I'm feeling like this, but not like be attached to them. So uh, this too shall pass. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Brian Mark, coming at you with another episode on this channel. And it's today's episode, it's Mother's Day, and Kirsten was in the car with me yesterday. So I'm gonna go out to the store and I'm gonna get some flowers so that she has flowers when she wakes up. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the episode. Let's go. Flowers in hand. I also feel like they mean more because I had to hobble to get them. <laughs> These crutches, man. Has, have any of you guys, what? Oh, words are fun. Have any of you guys worn crutches before or used crutches before? Comment below and let me know. They're fun. They're fun. Crutches are fun. Thanks, babe. Green tea. I kind of crippled myself getting it because I realized that I had to use my hands. You didn't have to get me anything, babe. I had to walk. You didn't have to get me anything. Aw, thanks, babe. These are so pretty. Thank you. All right, guys, so it's the middle of the day. Woo! And I got my goal set for the week, so I'm gonna walk you guys through them. So um, my goal is 125K cash, so my goal is to collect $125,000 in cash. I wanna start reorganizing the mastermind site, so I'm going to a mastermind right now that I'm running. It has like 300 videos in it, and so I wanna go into the site and I wanna start like watching the videos and just like putting them in the right places and just like reorganizing some of the ones that are in there. And basically just like, I wanna start adding like little cliff notes about what the call is about so that people that are watching the call can like tune in and like get specific value about what they're like looking to learn about. So that's that, I'm excited for that because I think it's gonna add more value to the program once I actually like, kind of go through and dissect the actual videos and it's gonna help me get to know the mastermind coaches a little bit more after watching just like a bunch of their calls. Also need to stay off my foot so I put that as a goal because it's super important. Practice stand-up comedy every night and slay stand-up comedy. So guys, this week on Thursday, I'm doing stand-up comedy. Like this week <laughs> on Thursday. I don't know how it came up so fast but I am doing stand-up comedy and it is this week and it is on Thursday so I'm like <laughs> I'm pretty nervous about it. I'm not gonna lie. I like, <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing stand-up comedy this week. It is wild, but I am doing it. So I'm just gonna go with, roll with the punches. I've got a few jokes. I'm gonna practice one of my jokes with you guys, all right? Okay, I'm gonna practice. <clears throat> so being married is fun. How many of you guys are married in the audience? Raise your hand. That yeah, sucks, right? <laughs> no, but one of the things that I like, I hate doing is watching movies with my wife. Like, not because I don't love my wife, but like every time we go to watch a movie, she wants to pick. Like, she like she's like, we always watch action movies. I just want to watch something different. So like, I'm like, okay, fine, we'll watch something different. And so I like let her pick the movie. And I don't know how many of you guys have let your wife pick movies before, but it usually takes three hours, and we still don't end up watching anything. So anyways, I let her pick the movie, and and she picks the Notebook, and I want to click, 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 bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. But I do it anyways. So we're watching The Notebook and then I look over and she's sleeping. So she picks the movie and she's gonna sleep. Click, 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 bang, 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 bang. So I'm like, okay, now I'm upset for two reasons. Number one, I don't wanna watch The Notebook. Number two, now I'm, I'm crippled too. So like, it's not like I can get up and change the TV. And I know you're saying, just use a remote, but like, what if the remote's over there? So now there's two things. Number three, there's really like only two reasons that I'd like to watch, you know, movies with my wife and number one is I want to watch Jason say them like some shit up or number two I want to get some like you know and now I don't get either because we're watching the notebook I'm crippled and she's sleeping <laughs> oh I don't even was I pointing the camera I think I was pointing the camera myself so that's a little a little bit of a taste of the routine okay so I'm gonna practice the delivery this week another one I'm gonna do it's gonna be funny to do it on the channel and then do it on the show so it'll be like so being black is fun yeah I'm I'm like a I'm not like your typical black dude though. Like I was like born and raised by, um, you know, my whole family's like super, super white, like super Christian. My mom actually had me when she was 17 and she was the oldest. So she had four younger brothers and sisters. She had me when she was 17. And I like was raised in like a white Christian. Like my family was so Christian that we were the ones that like hosted the priests at our house when they would come to our city. Like we're talking like, we're talking like Christian Christian. I actually have a funny story for you guys later, but we're talking Chris. So that was my family. And um, so getting, you know, fornicating out of wedlock was just like a 
That was a no-go. And so, my mom, when she had me when she was 17, I was told this story like multiple times, like she would wear this like overcoat, right? Like this big overcoat where um, she would like pretend that she was, uh, she was just like, she was like hiding the fact that she was pregnant and she was like a little bit overweight. So she was hiding that she was pregnant. And so one day she like goes into, uh, she's like, goes up to my grandma, she's like, my, my back really hurts. And they take her to the doctors and the doctor comes out and it was my grandma and my great grandma at the time, which was her mom and her grandma. And uh, they're like, are you gonna take her to the hospital or should we? And, and my grandma was super confused. She's like, what do you mean? And the doctor's like, well, she's going into labor. Do you guys want to take her or do we? And, and my grandma, <laughs> Freak the f out, right? So like, first of all, she obviously mm -mm, fornicated out of wedlock, right? Like, mm -mm -mm. like they, they did it, like she did it. And then I get to the hospital and I come out and I'm black. Imagine their surprise. This little black baby out of wedlock. So anyways, I am not your normal black dude. I was raised by a Christian white family. I'm practicing my routine. What? Are you laughing? Oh, she laughed, come back. Come back, babe. Laugh. Laugh for the YouTube. Come here. Show me a genuine laugh. Come here. <laughs> that was funny, right? That's my routine. That's a funny routine, right? So yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I don't know how long I'm gonna do, but I'm excited for the entire experience and it's gonna be, I'm gonna enjoy it. No matter, no matter what. And I'm still on a mission to get juicy arms. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. I get super bored now that I'm now that I'm decapitated. No. That means your head's cut off. <laughs> super bored now that I'm debilitated. Whatever. I really do have to stay off of it because every time I'm like, yeah, every time I get up and like start moving around, it starts really hurting. But every time I actually rest it, it feels better. So I'm doing my very best to actually stay off of it. And so far, so good. But it just gets super freaking boring. It gets really boring. I hate these crutches so much. <laughs> yeah, me too, mine uh, You don't have to use yours. I do. My foot hurts. Mine does too. I accidentally stepped on it while I was getting in the Jeep and it was very painful. Really? I didn't like the exact same thing. Okay, I'm getting annoyed with you right now. Okay, so it's Mother's Day, correct? Yes. And we live on Mother Earth, correct? Yes. So we all need to wish Earth a happy Mother's Day. Right? <laughs> Three, two, one. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day Earth. Earth. Right? Yes. Babe. I thought you were gonna say the reason why your car didn't break down was because of mothers. No, it's because it's Earth. It's we live on Mother Earth, and it's Mother's Day. We need to give give back, give thanks. Is this how my stand-up's gonna go too? What? This is the level of support you're gonna give me? No, I'm gonna laugh. My <laughs> I just told you I was feeling a little bit. I'm pulling myself out of it. So, yes, that was a funny joke. And I'm very excited for your stand up, and I'll be the loudest laugher in the entire audience. I promise. You f***ing better. I will. <laughs> Even if it's not funny. Your hair looks really nice. Sorry about your face. <laughs> ow, ow. Do you want a broken arm too? Wow, bro. Rude. I wasn't even gonna make fun of your life today, or your foot today, but since you came up with that, like. Fine, I'm not inviting you to my stand up comedy show on Thursday then. I wasn't gonna come anyways, I already knew about it. <laughs> rude. On the top of a mountain. You're, ex you're extremely. Because you don't you're like a hiking. rude child. You need to be grounded. Why, why, why did I tell the camera you need to, why you need to be grounded? You need to learn manners. We need to ground our child. <laughs> Never. Yeah. She's, no. Yeah. You don't understand rude. what you're No, we need to ground him. No, she's well, ground. You didn't ground me. No, I didn't. Prove it. I do think that you need. I don't know, Haley, Haley, Haley. I think like the grounding's a little bit excessive, but a timeout in the corner. So, so it's yeah. the timeout. Okay. All your way time out. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, we're talking to you. No, no, no. Time, yep. no. Okay, okay, if you guys can both beat me up, I'll go on a timeout. Otherwise, you okay. go on a timeout. You want us to try right now? Ow, ow, my foot, my foot, my foot. Ow. Fire. <laughs> oh, Haley's got the crush behind you. Don't. If you hit. <laughs> Ground it! Grounded for three years. Grounded until you're 18. You can't leave the house unless you're going to school. And I said, what do you think of the movie? She goes, if you're a bad mom, I'm getting that bad apple. She goes, and I'm giving you the bad apple. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, the whole movie, like that's the whole thing she got out of the movie was There's the poisoned one. apple. And then like, <laughs> never mind. I remember two sneaking my apples into my mom's like drinks. Like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to poison your mother? Yeah. It's a little freaking corn. Yeah. I am the best. I am the best. 
Why are you yelling? Everybody is trying to have a conversation. You're screaming on the couch, flipping people off, you're screaming about your toes. Or two. He's pretending to be asleep. His eyes are open now. He's flipping me off. Oh, sorry, I had to go. Well, we were talking yeah. about it, and it was just like, what the heck? No, look at him. Well, I don't know what's the secret of this story. No, no, no. He's awake. It's not now. Um, yeah, well. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, I like those a lot. Probably weighed 65, 70 pounds. She was like an 80 year old grandma. Completely unnecessary. I am going to cool it on the chocolate. It's our bed. Okay, guys, so we just finished up Mother's Day brunch. Did you have fun, babe? It was so much fun. My foot was in pain, so I just kind of laid there for a little bit. My foot was in pain, I just kind of laid there for a little bit. Kirsten's now obsessed with these new corn in the cups. She was saying that she was like, this is the first time she's ever had corn in the cups. Usually I go in. Oh, uh, there's no, oh, there's somebody coming this side. Yeah, so I know I'll, I'll go after they're done. Yeah. You got this, babe. I believe in you. There we go. And look at that. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. That was fun. That was fun. And we're off to the races. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright guys, so now I'm gonna go back home. I'm gonna put my feet up and just chill because we're resting. We're resting. Guys, so that brings us to the end of today's YouTube episode. I, am not gonna lie, this is like, it's like kind of getting to me, my foot. I was like super optimistic. I feel like it's like highs and lows. Like there are points in the day where I'm like, man, I'm like genuinely the happiest I've felt in a long time. And then I hit like a low when I just like, I feel like, almost dependent on Kirsten and because like right now I like I can't really move around a lot and I just don't like my independence kind of like feeling like it's I just don't like feeling like I have to rely on other people and I definitely feel like I have to rely on Kirsten right now because I literally like can't walk around so that's really frustrating and then when I got home I was just like yeah, I just wasn't really feeling, yeah, I wasn't really feeling really good. I wasn't really feeling awesome. So I want to get up and do stuff and move around, but I just really, I can't, don't really have a lot of options. Like I like driving around just to clear my head. Can't really do that because like crutching all the way to the car and crutching back is super annoying. So yeah, kind of getting to me today, but that's all right. I did sit down and get some studying done and I'm experimenting right now with, I'm actually not going to say what I'm experimenting with because uh, I'm going to save it for when I, I'm going to figure it out and then I'm going to tell you guys about it. Uh, but I am really excited about the project that I'm working on right now. It's like a passion project I've been studying in my spare time and I'm freaking on it. So that's cool. So yeah, guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this day. I'm gonna do some comedy skit writing and practice delivering my jokes. And that's pretty much the end of the day. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you got some value out of today. You guys got to hang out with me a little bit. The piece of actionable value that I'm gonna give you guys today is that don't allow temporary emotions to become permanent states. So for me, I'm like frustrated about my foot I could use that to kind of just get into a place where I'm just like in a big funk and just like, what was me? But I'm really trying to do my best to see my emotions and be like, okay, I am feeling like this, but not like be attached to them. So uh, this too shall pass and just letting, you know, temporary emotions be temporary and not clinging onto them and telling yourself a story. So peace, love, protein. Hope you guys have the best day of your entire life. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Thank you so much for tuning into this YouTube episode. Just want to let you guys know that your boy is going to be doing stand-up comedy this week. And so make sure you're tuning in for the Monday drops at 5 p.m. PST because from now on, Monday at 5 p.m. PST, where there's gonna be a YouTube drop. So peace, love protein, have the best day of your entire life, and we'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Let's go.